GeoGebra is an open source dynamic mathematics software for learning and teaching maths. In this video, I am going to give you a brief introduction to GeoGebra and because this software has tons of features and I like to make videos about 10 to 15 minutes, it is not possible to cover this in one video. So therefore you see video 1 written at the lower left corner because I have the intention to make few more videos. And the reason I am making these videos is because a lot of my subscribers are math teachers and I was getting messages to make video tutorials on GeoGebra. Although there are a lot of tutorials available on the internet, but in these videos my try will be to approach GeoGebra in a systematic way which will enable us to use this piece of technology in our everyday teaching. GeoGebra has a lot to offer. To math teachers and we should take advantage of this open source software. It is a community based software. There are hundreds of developers and math teachers who are contributing to GeoGebra. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools available to teachers and students and about some of the subjects which I teach and which you can find on my YouTube channel. So if you are interested in these topics, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. This introductory video is a big picture of GeoGebra. This will give you an idea of what you have to learn. So there are six main things which you must understand in order to use GeoGebra effectively. I have listed these here and I will be giving you a brief introduction to these six building blocks of GeoGebra. The first is of course you have to understand the user interface and I will be walking you through some of the main features which will get you started. There are few apps which I am going to introduce to you. Then there are some tools available. You should understand how to use those tools. There are some commands which you can type and you can solve some mathematical problems. There are resources as I mentioned earlier developed by other math teachers which you can use straight away by giving them some credit you can create your own resources. And then last but not the least and most important thing is teaching techniques. You must understand how to demonstrate a mathematical concept by using GeoGebra. And this is the area in which I will be making some more videos because just learning a tool and its user interface is of no use until you know how to use that tool. In addition to these six things, I am assuming that you already know these three things, math concepts and math operators including logical operators, how to create online classes and if you don't know, I have tons of videos on my channel on this topic which you can watch and how to integrate GeoGebra with your learning management system. For example, Google Classroom which is one of the most popular learning management system at the moment. And these three things should not take much of your time. You should be able to create a class and integrate with GeoGebra within few minutes. So this is the bigger picture of GeoGebra. And now let me introduce to you how you can install GeoGebra or how you can use a browser based application. GeoGebra.org is the website where you have to sign up with GeoGebra and once you have signed up you will be able to see this uh, user interface. The first thing you might want to do is if you want to use a desktop application you click on app downloads and from here you can download GeoGebra classic file. You click on this download button you will get an executable file which you can install on windows and then you can use this software as a desktop application. But if you want to use in browser, you can simply click on this start button and you can start using GeoGebra straight away in this manner. This is the desktop app as you can see that I have installed on the desktop as well and this is the browser based application. So it is up to you whichever you want to use. So I am going to close this desktop application. And now because this is just an introductory video, I will be giving you a brief tour of all the six important things which I have described and then you can start working one by one on these things. I will meanwhile be uploading more videos which will help you. So on the right hand side, if you click on this icon and then settings, this settings wheel, you have the ability 
to set this uh, graphic screen x axis y axis grades these kind of things and whether you want to give your axis any name or just want to keep it simple let me close this now geogebra tools are available in this area and by using these tools you can draw point lines and other geometrical shapes for example points and when you draw points on the left hand side you will see the coordinates and you can also add points by for example describing in a mathematical manner just like that and you can draw lines and if you click on the lower right corner of this point tool you will see some more tools similarly in the line tool you will see lines segments segments of a given length and these kind of things then the next tool is about perpendicular lines parallel lines tangent lines and for example if you click on this best fit line and then you click on this help it will show you that if you give this tool a set of points it will try to fit a line and you just have to select a list of points so it will give you an idea that there is a something like list of points and then you can understand how the list is created and how the best fit line can be created by using a set of points so this is the way you should learn you click on any tool you select it in this area then you click on the help and find further details how this tool works what is the input required and then you try to figure out how you can find that input now this was a brief uh, overview of these tools and now i would like to quickly show you some of the applications you can access these applications by clicking on this uh, these are the apps but uh, also from this uh, website you can start any of these applications so first let me start a graphing calculator and we have a keyboard here if you know how to type in latex uh, you can type straight away in this area in graphing calculator you will see these three uh, icons the left one is algebra uh, this is the tools area and then we have tables area and these are the three main things you will be working with so let me click on this algebra area and if you don't see this keyboard you click on this and it will show the keyboard but i can type in latex so let me type some expression here if i type x square the graph of x square will be drawn on the right hand side as you can see so this tool and this algebra they both work together so whatever you type in this algebra section which is input area you will see the graph in the graphic window and if you draw for example something in the graphics window for example if i draw a line i click this line icon then i select one point and then i select the second point and the line will be drawn now i click on this algebra area i can see the first point the second point and the equation of the line also i can type some equation of the line for example y is equal to 3x plus 4 and this line will be drawn in the graphics window so in this way you can plot various functions using this graphing calculator now there are so many further commands which you can use to dig deeper and find some points and solve the equations and solve the intersection of the graphs and other geometrical shapes but those functions cannot be explained in this introductory video but this is the purpose of graphing calculator so let me close this one more thing in this uh, geogebra i would like to highlight is if you click on these three lines and then you click on download as you will see that a lot of image formats are available if for example you have drawn some plots and you want to download the image and some of these are specific to latex so if you are familiar with latex otherwise on my channel there are a lot of videos about latex which you can watch and you can get started easily so latex and geogebra they are very compatible and latex also produces very high quality pdf documents so this is another point of interaction between latex and geogebra and now let me show you this geometry application so i click start in this application you have similar tools and uh, algebra areas but in this you will find some more tools so let me draw a line and now i again select two points draw a line if i click on this more i have a lot more tools than graphing calculator application 
as you can see that all these tools plus if I click on this more I get these uh, major tools for example if I want to get the slope of this line I click on this slope and then click on this line so it will show me the slope of the line which is m 0.7 so these major tools are not available in graphing calculator you can find them here now I am just scratching the surface this tool is overwhelming there are so many things you can do with this uh, GeoGebra when you are teaching mathematics that it all requires maybe 10 or 20 hours of training but as a math teacher I am sure that you know uh, what are these tools and you will be able to quickly make use of them and you can draw other geometrical shapes like circles polygons just like that so this was geometry application and one more I would like to show you uh, let's say this uh, CES calculator now this is called computer and algebra system calculator and there are hundreds of commands available in GeoGebra which you can type here and you can solve mathematical equations, mathematical expressions, calculus problems, differentiation, integration, matrices and so many things. So let's say for example I want to find the LCM of two numbers. So I simply type LCM 5 and 10 and press enter. It will give me the result. If you want to get the LCM of three numbers or more then you have to use the curly brackets within this bracket you have to use curly brackets for example 5 6 and 10 if you want to solve an algebraic expression so we have a command for solve just like that you simply put solve command and and within the parenthesis you type algebraic expression and you get the result now these are two limit problems which I would like to show you how to solve using cash calculator so the first function is 12 x minus x square and we have to find limit when x tends to 6 and the second is limit x tends to pi 10 x divided by x so let me show you how to solve this so I type limit with the capital L and it shows me various limit commands and then within the parenthesis I type 12 x minus x square comma 6 this is the syntax of the command and then I press enter and it gives me the solution to this problem similarly limit 10 x divided by x and it automatically puts the numerator and denominator and then comma pi 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 means the ratio pi and now I press enter and it gives me the result very simple so this is how you can use this uh, computer and algebra system calculator in GeoGebra now let's talk about commands there are hundreds of commands literally and the best way to learn those commands is by using this GeoGebra manual this is the official manual of GeoGebra and on page 79 you will find all these commands and how these commands work so this is the best way to learn these commands you just look at the manual and then it is very easy to figure out how this command works it gives you a few examples and the syntax of the command so this is my recommendation that you look at this manual and you try to learn all these commands and now at the end I would like to show you this resources tab if you click on these resources there are some resources which are highlighted here but if you type anything here for example if you type statistics and press enter you will find that a large number of GeoGebra resources has been created by other teachers for you to use and you can select these resources they are all of various different types and depending on the learning outcomes or the learning objectives of your course you can select any of these already available resources and you can integrate into your Google classroom or in any other learning management system by creating short videos GIF images or simple images or you can use these resources as it is it is up to you you might want to 
modify a little bit depending on your learning objectives or you might want to use these resources as it is. There are hundreds of thousands of resources already available. And from these resources, you can get the idea of how to use commands, how to use graphing tool and how to use geometry application. So you will get all these ideas when you will see how other teachers are using these resources. So that is it for today. This was a brief introduction to GeoGebra, which is an open source tool for math teachers. I hope that you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.